Hi, I'm Dave from Buzzy. In this video, we're going to look at using a Buzzy Figma plugin to pull data-based content as a menu straight into a live app using just our Figma design file. So in the previous videos, we built this little simple app, consists of a couple of screens. Importantly, we also had this form which let us add content or data to our app. And we've got nowhere to render this at the moment, so let's go about fixing that. Now, when you submit the form, we basically, it submits to the app's backend, which is Buzzy. Um, and this happens automatically when you hit out a spaceship here. Now I've, and it goes into this data container called spaceships at the back end. You don't really need to access this or worry about it. I've gone and pre-populated this with some um, science fiction spaceships because I'm a geek. So let's go about pulling this data into our app. And so coming into Figma, here's our design file. This is the start screen, the main screen, um, the form and the form success. And you notice we've got this menu. So the logical place to start obviously with the data will be let's pull in a menu so that we can link to these things. Um, so let's start with that. How do we pull that data into our app without leaving Figma. So I've got the Buzzy plugin open. And first thing we need to do is, we've already marked up our screens and navigation and the form and everything else. So let's look at just this form. So, uh, sorry, this menu. So we'll see we've got a wrapper here called Spaceship Menu. And inside that are repeating items that represent our spaceship data that we have. So let's start with this. First thing we need to do is let's mark up the wrapper for the menu. So in this case, it's a component and we've got different types of components, layouts, forms, which we've already used, and a view. So a view is like a view of data in this case, this menu. Um, the component name, we can name this, or if we don't do anything and we just use spaceship menu, um, We'll leave that as is for now, the micro app name. So where do we want to pull this data from? It's the one we created when we set up our form. It's called Spaceships. So that's our data container. The view layout mode, um, we're looking at results. So we want to pull results in from this data container here. Uh, the page size lets us you know, paginate or determine how many results we want to pull down in one hit. Uh, we've got four in our design, so we'll just put four in here, um, the limit would be, if we wanted to limit how much data we ever pulled down, we don't need to worry about that for now. Um, we'll leave it blank and carry on. So that's to find our external view. Um, and we'll see if we go into components, there it is. Uh, now if we look at inside our menu, there's these items, a list of repeating items. Now basically, they're all the same. We only need to worry about the first one. And so that's what we'll do. If we mark up the first one and set it as the repeating element, so we'll call this, um, we'll call this our repeating element, and then inside the rest of these, uh, these are just there to flesh out our design basically. So we could just ignore these as we go. So ignore this one, um, we can ignore this one, and we can ignore this one. Right, so that leaves the first one which we've defined as our repeating element. And we don't need to assign any other role to it at the moment, it's just rendering our data, so we'll zoom in a bit. Here we go. So inside this, what have we got? We've got two things. We've got an image and we've got a name. So in this case, let's pull the name in first. So this is a field. Now of type is plain text. And the mode we want to render this in is either read or summary. Uh, we'll just use summary for now. Let's just use, yeah, we'll use summary. Uh, the micro app name, again, it comes, comes from spaceships. Um, the field name was spaceship name because that's the data that we're trying to render there. That's it. 
and now let's turn our attention to this image. Now the image, you notice, is wrapped inside a little um, mask, so make sure we select the actual image itself. This again is a field. Now our image field was the URL, so we're just pulling in images from um, that are hosted elsewhere basically. Keep things simple for now. We want to render that URL though as an image, so we're selecting image as the field mode. Micro app name again was spaceships and the field name was spaceship image. There it is. So that handles our menu of repeating items. And last thing we've got here is this load more button. So if we select this, this is basically our pagination. So this is an action. Excuse me. It's an action. It's not a um, navigation action though. It's inside a view. Um, you'll see here we can see node and when something's inside a view component that you've defined as a view it tells the plugin will tell you so you have other options depending on what you're doing um, this one is load more and it gets its context from the view that the menu that we defined earlier that it's nested inside so again nesting is important here so that should do for our marking up and if we go to update our app. Again this is the app we previously published when we added the form and if we switch over to our and we don't need this but if we switch to our preview excuse me let's get rid of this hit refresh actually we just saw it did already refresh refresh there we have a menu that's been pulled in from here. There's our data. It's getting dynamically pulled into our live app and the load more button works too. So we've just, without leaving Figma, we've actually created a dynamic menu in a live app straight from our Figma design file. Thanks for watching.